Peace be with you and welcome to the virtual Grade 8 Parent Information Night. Let us begin in the name of the Father, of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, from whom all good gifts come, with joyful hearts we give you thanks for the gift of life and everything you provide for us. As we gather here, we humbly ask you for the gift of wisdom. May all the choices we make in our lives bring us closer to you and to each other. May the parents and their children who choose this school be confident that the intellectual, physical, and spiritual education offered at this school will help their children to, becoming, to become loving, truth-seeking people and passionate citizens. Bless us as we take this next step into our children's future and guide us in all that we do so that our every word and action contribute to building your kingdom. May we always carry out this ministry for your honor and glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Thomas More, pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, my name is David Hansen, and I'm the Director of Education for the Hamilton Wentworth Catholic District School Board. It's my real pleasure to welcome parents and guardians and students to this, your Grade 8 Parent Night. While we know that this is a unique way of viewing your high school, certainly one we never planned, but we've been living with uniqueness over the last six months, haven't we? What I can tell you is the transition from Grade 8 to grade nine is an absolutely essential transition. And from ex personal experience, my middle daughter started high school this year. In seven months, this transition is going to happen, and you'll find that it, the time goes very, very quickly. In your presentation, you get a chance to walk through all of the great things that this high school has to offer. And I can tell you this is a school of excellence. The board's mission and vision, at the heart of it, is the statement, we enable all learners to realize the fullness of their humanity of which our Lord Jesus Christ is the model. I can tell you that this school lives out that motto every single day. So sit back, enjoy your walkthrough, enjoy all of the great things this school has to offer. I wish you every blessing for the rest of this year, grade eight year, and look forward to seeing you in September next year as a grade nine student at this school. Blessings. Welcome parents and guardians of the St. Thomas More graduation class of 2025. I'm Dean DeFrancesco, principal of STM, and on behalf of my vice principals, Lisa Gambali, Kevin Monaco, and Mark Marazzo, it's my pleasure to welcome you to our first ever virtual grade eight parents information session. Let your light shine before others so that they may see your good work and give glory to your Father in heaven. In this gospel passage, Jesus reminds us that the mission of Catholic schools is to serve as light to our world. And I can proudly say that at St. Thomas More, our service as Catholic educators in support of this purpose is not something that we take for granted. We work hard each day to let our light shine by keeping Christ at the center of our lives and that of our Catholic school community. For almost 50 years, St. Thomas More has been entrusted by numerous families with the important responsibility of empowering and enabling those who we teach to realize the fullness of humanity in which our Lord Jesus Christ is our model. We take this role very seriously in our vibrant chaplaincy program, our school-wide support of social justice initiatives, and our ongoing commitment to both student and staff faith formation is evidence that our actions back up our words. In addition to the very important role we play in the faith lives of our students, we also pride ourselves on the academic and co-instructional excellence that has become common to life at STM. As a school community, we have come a long way from our humble beginnings and we're very proud of the rich tradition of excellence that we have forged on Hamilton's West Mountain. I'm the first to acknowledge that at STM, our students make us proud on many different fronts. Academically, our graduates have excelled in their post-secondary studies. 
and many of them return to STM and are thankful for the solid foundation that their high school teachers prepared for them. In terms of athletics, our football, boys and girls basketball, boys and girls soccer teams, just to name a few, have been recognized as some of the best programs in the province for many years. Perhaps most importantly, our students love being part of our school community. And other than the regular high school tensions and anxieties, they feel safe and secure within our walls. There's one other hidden statistic that I love to share with parents and students. We currently have close to 40 STM graduates on our staff, and over 25 staff members who currently have or have had their own children attend St. Thomas More. I think this is proof that our graduates are proud of their ties to this great school, and also that we are a school that our teachers believe in. We all want the best for our children, and that is why so many of our teachers are comfortable sending their kids to St. Thomas More every day. However, with all that being said, we also realize that we only spend a limited amount of time with your children each day. Your presence here virtually is tremendously encouraging because we know that students need as much support as possible. It's vitally important that strong partnerships between our school, our families, and our local parishes be maintained. Parents, we invite you to stay actively involved in your child's education throughout their high school years. Parental involvement is a key determinant student success. Thank you for taking the time to join us virtually in this presentation. As we emerge from a global pandemic that we find ourselves in, I look forward to welcoming your children into our school community through a series of virtual and hopefully face-to-face -face transition events over the next 10 months. Jesus challenges each of us to let our light shine before others. It's my sincere hope that over the next few years, your children will pick up the torch from the students who have gone before them and continue to be the light that shines as a beacon for all members of our community. At this time, I turn things over to Mr. Bozzo, our Student Services Department Head. Thank you. Hello, parents of our future nights. My name is Ralph Bozzo, and I am a guidance counselor and the Department Head of Student Services and Co-op at St. Thomas More. It is my pleasure to speak to you about our amazing STM school community. My presentation will touch upon the four following areas, the STM community, the transition program, the grade nine program, and most importantly, the registration procedures, which can all be found in the grade nine course selection guide available on our school website or through the main office at St. Thomas More. I will be referring to this guide throughout my presentation. The mission of Catholic education in the Hamilton-Wentworth Catholic District School Board in union with our Bishop is to enable all learners to develop the fullness of humanity of which our Lord Jesus Christ is the model. In keeping with the board's mission statement, we as a school community are committed to supporting all pathways and providing our students with every opportunity for them to succeed. St. Thomas More is a large school community. We have over 2,000 students, 438 of which are current grade 9 students, and over 150 staff. As a large school community, we have a lot to offer our students. We have a variety of courses in grades 9 to 12 for students to choose from. This includes many electives including sports specific phys ed courses such as basketball, football, hockey, soccer. In the area of technology we offer photography, yearbook, iPhone courses, hairstyling, auto and woodworking. In the arts we offer band, piano, guitar, dance, painting, drama, visual arts, and in business we offer computer programming, marketing, accounting, international business, and e-commerce. This is just a sample of what we have to offer. We provide our students with many opportunities to get involved in our school through the many clubs, activities, and sports offered. I can assure you that whatever your child is interested in, we have a club, activity, or sport for them. So where do our students come from? 
In short, everywhere. This year's grade 9 cohort was made up of 40% from our four feeder schools, 31% from Catholic non-feeder schools, 27% from non-HW CDSB schools, and 2% from everywhere else, including out of country, out of province, and private schools. Ensuring that your child meets the graduation requirements is our ultimate goal here at STM. So what does your child need to graduate? The Catholic Secondary School graduation requirements include 30 credits consisting of 18 compulsory credits, 4 credits in religion, and 8 electives, 40 hours of Christian service, and the provincial literacy requirement. St. Thomas More proudly boasts some of the highest graduation rates in our board and consistently achieves well above the provincial average. From this graph, light blue represents the percentage of students graduating in four years and dark blue is the percentage of students graduating in five years. Over the last five years, St. Thomas More's average four-year graduation rate is 88% compared to 81% provincial average, and the average five-year graduation rate for STM students is 93% versus 87% provincial average. We do a great job ensuring our students are meeting the provincial graduation expectations in four years. What contributes to the success of STM students? To highlight a few, STM offers extensive academic supports for our students through our Guidance Department, Student Success Office, and Special Education Department. We also offer supports for our students' social and emotional well-being through our Chaplaincy Office and School Social Worker. We offer full ESL programming for our English language learners with support through our ESL Office. We offer a specialized high skills major program offering six different specializations that your child can achieve beginning in grade 11, including health and wellness, nonprofit, arts and culture, business, transportation, and construction. And as you can see, there is so much more that contributes to the success, the success of our wonderful students. Making the leap from grade 8 to high school can be both exciting and overwhelming. These uncertain times have provided many challenges for our school, which have unfortunately limited the number of activities for grade 8 students in helping them with this transition. The next portion of my presentation will outline what your, you and your child should expect in the next coming months to support your child's transition to high school. In mid-January, our guidance counselors will conduct virtual presentations for our feeder school students to discuss option sheet selections and walk our future nights through the registration process. About a week later, guidance counselors will pick up our feeder school students' completed registration packages. Students from our Catholic non-feeder schools and public schools will need to drop off their completed registration packages to the STM guidance office. In March, STM holds transition meetings with grade 8 teachers from both Catholic, feeder, and non-feeder schools to discuss their students' strengths and needs. In late June, early July, students will receive their tentative timetables, which will be made available through their MyPath account. In July 2021, students can begin to accumulate their 40 hours of Christian service, which is a graduation requirement. The HWCDSB has developed a website with a variety of different volunteer opportunities for, by sector. Please visit www.hwcdsbcs.com to check out some of the great volunteer opportunities available for your child. In late August, we offer a Passport to Grade 9 program for incoming students to familiarize themselves with their new school. Students will learn how to open a lock, find the location of their classes, the library, guidance, the student success office, how to make a guidance appointment, and so much more. 
Also in late August, we offer a half-day grade 9 orientation led by our prefect leaders where students receive their finalized timetables and continue to familiarize themselves with St. Thomas More. Hopefully, both of these exciting programs will be available in school. During your child's first month, first month as a knight, they will be exposed to many opportunities whereby they continue to familiarize themselves with their new school. These consist of grade nine level meetings with the principal, vice principals, guidance counselor, chaplain, student success teachers, special education teacher, and student council. We will hold a club and activities fair. Grade nine student elections will be held. The grade nine dance will occur. Peer leaders meet one-on-one -on -one with grade nines. Guidance appointments with students begin. Student success teachers begin to make appointments with their students. IEP meetings begin. Drop and add periods to adjust student timetables is also held. The next part of my presentation will walk you through the grade nine program. Students in grade nine must take eight courses consisting of six compulsory courses and two electives. These courses will be balanced into two semesters where each student will take four courses plus a lunch period per semester. For a listing of our grade nine compulsory and elective courses with descriptors, please refer to the grade nine course selection guide. Effective for the 2021 and 2022 school year, the Ministry of Education is introducing a new de-streamed grade 9 math program. At this time, the Ministry is exploring ways to collaborate with education partners and others to support a smooth transition for students and schools. Parents and students are asked to select a stream for their grade 9 math course, academic, applied, or locally developed. Any future changes that are required as a result of the de-streaming of the Grade 9 Math Program will be made by St. Thomas More. More information about the new Grade 9 Mathematics course will be shared as soon as it becomes available. The Gap Closing Math will still be offered and is only available to students if recommended by their Grade 8 teacher. Students can select from the different streams, academic, applied or locally developed for their English, Math, Science, French, and Geography course. The compulsory religion course is only offered at the open level. The fifth letter in the course code indicates the stream. D is for the academic stream, P is the applied, L is for locally developed, and O for open. Academic courses focus on theoretical and abstract applications while preparing students for the university pathway. Applied courses focus on practical applications while preparing students for the college pathway. Locally developed courses are remedial in nature and prepare students for the workplace. Open courses are open to all students and provide a broad-based education. For a detailed description of student expectations at each level, please refer to your Grade 9 course selection guide. When deciding on the two elective choices, please refer to the Grade 9 course selection guide for courses and descriptors. We have a lot of great options for our Grade 9 students. All elective courses will be offered at the open level. As part of the registration package, students will include an elementary school recommendation form completed by their grade eight teacher, which outlines the level that they feel your child would meet with the most success in high school. We strongly support their recommendation as statistics show that students who follow their grade eight teacher's recommendation meet with greater success both inside and outside of the classroom. Students can change their level if they find their courses are either too difficult or too easy for them. Your child's guidance counselor can provide recommendations and assist with their decision making. The Grade 9 Course Selection Guide also provides option sheets for non-HWCDSB students to complete. 
along with a section for their teacher's recommendation. The last and most important part of my presentation will outline the registration procedures for both Catholic and public school students to follow in order to become St. Thomas More students in the fall. Page 11 of the Grade 9 Course Selection Guide outlines the registration process for students coming from our Catholic feeder and non-feeder schools. In mid-January, our Catholic feeder school students can begin to select their courses online through their MyPath account. The course selection guide outlines the steps you will need to follow to set up a MyPath account and select your courses. Guidance counselors will be visiting the feeder schools in late January to pick up the grade 8 student registration packages they must have all of the following four items in order to register. Registration form, which they will receive from their elementary school. $45 activity fee, school cash online is recommended. MyPath option selections and the elementary school teacher recommendation form. Students will not be able to register without all four of these items included. Catholic non-feeder school students must receive out-of-boundary permission from Mr. DeFrancesco, Principal of St. Thomas More, before submitting their registration documents. Once approval has been granted, parents can drop off their child's registration package to St. Thomas More's guidance office after February 1, 2021, which will include the same four items. Registration form, $45 activity fee, MyPath option selections, and elementary school recommendation form. A quick note for parents wishing to pay the $45 activity fee through school cash online, instructions on how to set up an account and make the payment can be found on page 16 of the guide. This is the recommended method of payment. The registration procedures for all non-HW CDSB students residing within STM's catchment area is outlined in the course selection guide on page 14. All non-HW CDSB students must submit the following eight items to St. Thomas More main office in order to register. An option sheet complete with the teacher's recommendation, a completed grade eight to grade nine intake package, which is available on our school website or through St. Thomas More's main office, a photocopy of the student's birth certificate, immigration information and proof of status in Canada, if not a Canadian citizen, a copy of the latest grade eight report card, a $45 activity fee, proof of residency, and if applicable, a copy of the most recent IEP. Non-HWCDSB students that reside outside of STM's catchment area must receive out-of-boundary permission from Mr. DeFrancesco, Principal of St. Thomas More, prior to submitting their completed registration package. Once out-of-boundary permission has been granted, parents can drop off the above registration documents to St. Thomas More main office after February 1st, 2021. As mentioned, Catholic non-feeder school students and public stu school students residing outside of STM's catchment area must receive out-of-boundary permission from Mr. DeFrancesco, Principal of St. Thomas More, prior to registering. In order to be considered for entry into St. Thomas More, you will need to complete the secondary school out-of-boundary form, which can be found on the last page of the guide, and submit it directly to St. Thomas More main office. All out of boundary approvals will be based on school capacity limitations. Forms are being accepted immediately. However, out of boundary approval decisions will only be made after February 1st, 2021. You will be contacted by St. Thomas More after February 1st, 2021 to advise if your out of boundary request has been granted. Once your request has been approved, parents and students can move forward with the registration process.
This concludes my information session. Should you wish to contact any member of our administrative team or any of our subject specific department heads, please feel free to email them with your questions and they will be more than happy to address your concerns. Please also consider following STM Student Services on Twitter and Instagram for all the latest and the greatest. I will be posting information about grade 8 transition throughout the year, so I invite you to follow along. I want to thank all of you for taking the time to listen to this information session. We are all very much looking forward to having your child be a part of our wonderful school community. I invite you all to take a virtual tour of our school. Enjoy and God bless. Hello grade nines and welcome. On behalf of Hamilton Wentworth Catholic District School Board, we want to take you on a tour of St. Thomas More High School. This tour will explore the various parts of the building, as well as the available supports for you as you begin your journey into high school. The mission of the HWCDSB, in union with our bishop, is to enable all learners to realize the fullness of humanity of which our Lord Jesus Christ is the model. A school community is much more than just a physical space. Here at STM, you will learn and grow anchored in the Catholic faith and as you experience a vibrant school community that offers a wide range of academic and extracurricular opportunities. Many of you are excited to begin your journey into high school. You may also be feeling a little anxious because you are unsure of what to expect. This video tour will help answer some of your questions and help you feel more familiar with your surroundings. This is your personal virtual tour of St. Thomas More. A typical school day begins here. If you take the school bus, it will drop you off in this central location. When you enter the building, you will likely find yourself moving towards the central hub of the school, the Forum. Whether you walk, get dropped off, or take the bus, you will use the Forum to connect yourself to many different room locations in the school. Here, you will be in close proximity to the cafeteria, as well as the main office and attendance office. Usually, the first place you will go in the morning is to your locker. Your locker is your space to safely stow your personal belongings, such as your jacket, book bag, textbooks, binders, lunch, and personal electronic devices. You will be assigned a locker by the school. Learn and practice your lock combination and keep your combination to yourself. You will not bring your book bag to class. Any non-uniform items, such as sweaters, are also not permitted in the classroom. Get to know your surroundings, especially the school clocks, so that you will avoid arriving late to class. Depending on your schedule, you'll have classes in various parts of the building. Your schedule may take you to the gym, music room, art studio, or tech wing. You may be in a computer lab, portable, or just a regular classroom on one of the floors of the building. You will get to know many teachers during your time at STM. Your teachers care about your well-being and want you to reach your full potential. Usually, teachers work out of department workrooms. They will let you know where you can reach them if you have any questions outside of class or on your lunch. It is important to map out where your classes are and learn the best route to get there. You may not have time between classes to go back to your locker. So it's a good idea to carry your books, for example, for periods one and two, where it is permissible. Your room number is a good indicator of where your class is located. Classes that begin with one are found on the first floor. STM has three floors. If you have classes on the 200s, it can be found on the second floor. Classes in the 300s are on the third floor. Know your washroom locations. There are multiple washrooms in the school for student use. Get to know their location so that you can find the closest one to your classroom. One of the most important spaces in the school is the chapel. This sacred space is available for quiet reflection and prayer. You'll have an opportunity to visit the chapel with classes for small liturgies and reconciliation. If you're curious about the chapel or the faith life of STM, the chaplain is the person that you should get to know. The chaplain is involved in planning school masses and other charitable events organized through the student body. The chaplain C team is a great place to get involved and meet students from different grades. 
Remember, your chaplain is also there for you as a source of emotional and spiritual support. This is where the arts come to life. Music, drama, and a classroom all in one facility. During concerts or plays, this space transforms into a venue of artistic talent. If you're interested in the arts, reach out to the teacher advisors involved in various programs and pay close attention to the announcements. At some point in your high school career, you'll take a phys ed or fitness course. You'll be required to change into your school phys ed uniform. You will have the opportunity to do so in one of our designated change rooms. The change rooms are located close to the gym and fitness center. The fitness center offers memberships and in addition to the games that our school will host throughout the year, the field and the gym are accessible for intramurals. When we host teams from other high schools in the city, the gym and the field transform into hubs of school spirit. You could represent your school or cheer on your friends. Interested in the morning announcements? This is where the magic happens. Your day will begin with O Canada, opening prayer, and announcements from the studio. Seymour Live will deliver your daily news about all the exciting things happening at STM. If you are interested in the technical aspect of the announcements, or you think you would make a good news anchor, get in touch with the teacher advisor at your school. The Learning Commons, sometimes called the library, is a place of resource, support, and inquiry. In addition to the thousands of books shelved here, your teacher librarian and library clerks are here to assist you with questions and inquiries from homework to culminating activities. You can access the Learning Commons on your lunch. There are desktop computers and space designed for collaboration and group work. You will also visit the Learning Commons with some of your classes to learn about research requirements. Remember, this is a classroom, so you must always be in full uniform when entering. At lunchtime, you'll find yourself in the cafeteria. This is your designated area to eat your lunch, chat, and socialize with your peers. You can purchase food here, bring your lunch, or bring in food purchased from outside. The cafeteria is an extension of the classroom. You must be in full uniform here, and remember to clean up when you're done eating. At different points during the year, the Student Council will be running events, selling tickets, as well as spirit wear. Get to know the location of the Student Council office. For those grade 9s who aspire to be part of Student Council, you'll have your chance to run for the position of grade 9 rep in September. The main office and attendance office are places filled with important resources. Get to know their locations. The secretaries in each office are very helpful and have a wide array of information. If you have questions or concerns, the office can help direct you. The attendance office is where you go to report to clear your absence, get a late slip, or pick up important correspondence. In the attendance office, you will find the offices of your vice principals. You will be assigned a vice principal based on the grade or alphabet. Your VPs are there to help and guide you. Stop on by and get to know them. In the main office, you'll find the principal's office. The principal is the lead teacher. They spend their busy days putting your safety, faith, and achievement at top priority. They love to know their students and will get to know you over your time at STM. Student Services, otherwise known as Guidance, is an important resource center that will connect you with your guidance counselor, public health nurse, and the school social worker. Your guidance counselor will help you with your timetable and give you advice about your academic pathway. They, like your classroom teachers, prioritize your well-being, and they are there for support should you need to speak with them. The resource room is filled with teachers and educational assistants who will provide you with a plan and support to meet your individual academic needs. If you have an IAP, your special education resource teacher will be in contact with you at the start of the first semester. The Student Success Room is home to the Student Success Teachers. The Student Success Teachers support any student who may find themselves in risk of not being successful. Student Success can help you find a tutor, help you stay or get back on track in your classes, as well as work closely with teachers, counselors, the social worker, and administration to help support you when needed. That wraps up our tour for the day. As you begin your high school journey, remember that there are many supports in the building to help you succeed in your secondary school adventure. 
We are looking forward to seeing you in September and welcoming you as a member of our amazing community.